hi guys, I'm Noor Afrika. Today, I would like to share with you about the application of nanotechnology in medicine. Okay, first of all, what is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is the study of extremely small structure. The prefix nano is from a Greek word, which means the dwarf. Okay. The word nano is mean very small or miniature size. Nanotechnology deal with the size of the nano in a range of 0.1 to 100 nanometer. It can be used for a broad range of applications and the creation of various types of nanomaterials and nano device. History of nanotechnology. On December 29, 1959, physicist Richard Feynman gave a radical lecture at an American Physical Society meeting at Caltech, a title There is Plenty of Room at the Bottom. Feynman also suggested that it should be possible to make machines at a nanoscale that arrange the atoms the way we want and do chemical synthesis by mechanical manipulation. This lecture was the birth of the idea and study of nanotechnology. Idea of nanotechnology in medicine Albert R. Hibbs, a known medician, was fascinated by self-actuated machines. According to Feynman, Hibbs originally suggested to him the idea of a medical use for Feynman's theoretical micro-machines. Like he said, a friend of mine, which is Albert R. Hibbs, suggests a very interesting possibility for relatively small machines. He said that it will be interesting in surgery if you could swallow the surgeon. You put the mechanical surgeon inside the blood vessel and it goes into the heart and looks around. It finds out which valve is the faulty one and take a little knife and slice it up. Other small machine might be permanently incorporated in the body to assist some inadequately functioning organ. Richard Feynman In their lectures, there is plenty of room at the bottom. What Feynman and Hibbs consider a possibility today, 51 years later, is becoming a reality. There are many applications of medical in nanotechnology, such as in drug delivery, in treatment neurodegenerative disorder, in surgery, and the others. Application in drugs delivery Nanotechnology can deliver medicine or drugs into specific parts of the human body thereby making them more effective and less harmful to the other parts of the body. A recent study conducted by NIH found anti-cancer gold nanoparticles very effective. Gold nanoshells are useful to fight cancer because of their ability to absorb radiation at certain wavelengths. Once the nanoshell enters tumor cell and radiation treatment is applied, they absorb the energy and heat up enough to kill the cancer cells. Not only gold but other elements can also be used. Application in Treatment Neurodegenerative Disorder One of the most important applications of nanotechnology is in the treatment of neurodegenerative disorder. For the delivery of CNS-trafitted 
various nano carriers such as Jam Dreamers, Nano Gel, Nano Emulsions, Liposomes, Polymeric Nanoparticles, Solid Lipid Nanoparticles, and Nano Suspensions have been studied. Transportations of this nano medicine have been effected across various in vitro and in vivo BBB model by endocytosis and or transistosis and early preclinical pre success for the management of CNS condition such as Azimus, disease, brain tumors, HIV, encephalopathy, and acute eczema stroke has become possible. The nano medicine can be advanced further by improving their BBB permeability and reducing their neurotoxicity. Application in surgery. With nanotechnology, minute surgical instruments and robots can be made which can be used to perform microsurgeries on any part of the body. Instead of damaging a large amount of body, these instruments will be precise and accurate, targeting only the area where surgery should be done. Visualizations of surgery can also be improved. Instead of a surgeon holding the instrument, computers can be used to control the nano size surgical instruments. Nano cameras can provide close up visualizations of the surgery. Less chance of any mistake or fraud. Surgery could also be done on tissue, genetic, and cellular levels. Advantages and disadvantages of nanotechnology in medical field. For the advantages, drug delivery to the exact location, lesser side effect, molecular targeting by nano engineer device. Detection is relatively easy, no surgery required, and disease can be easily cured. For the disadvantages, presently nanotechnology is expensive. Crick atomic weapon, which is more powerful and destructive, and last, the possible loss of traditional jobs.